everyone, welcome to WOW Achievements by Ice Lighting. In this video, I am going to cover the feat of strength, the hidden achievement, Insane in the Membrane. So what you need to do for this one is you need to get honoured with the Bloodsail Buccaneers, Exalted with Booty Bay, Everlook, Gadgetsan, Ratchet, Dark Moon Fair, and Ravenholt. Now that sounds simple, doesn't it? In order to do this, you are going to need a rogue main or an alt, or you need to know somebody that is happy to waste 8 to 24 hours of their life to help you out. I will tell you more later. You're going to need lots of patience. This is not a five minute job. You're going to need time, possibly years if you split this up, because this is a long grind. It's called insane for a reason. You're going to have to understand that during this, you are going to mess with the rep for Booty Bay Gadgets and Everlook. They are not going to like you. You will not be able to interact with them. And lastly, you're going to need a cuddly toy because something needs to soak the tears while you do this. We're going to start with the easiest one to do, and that's get exalted with Dark Moon Fair. So if you check your calendar, you will see when it is available, and literally every quest you do for them, that's a blue exclamation mark, will give you some kind of don't reputation friend, towards it. If you don't know anything about the Dark Moon Fair, check the link above for my guides on what you need to do. So the other thing that's really important at Dark Moon Fair is they sell the Dark Moon Top Hat for prize tickets. This will help you with your reputation gains, so pick it up while you are there. So this is when you get a choice. I chose to go for the Exalted for Booty Bay, Everlook, Gadgetsan and Ratchet because I was closer to Exalted with them as I've been questing for a long time than I was the Bloodsail Buccaneers. However, if you're doing this with a brand new character, it might be easier to start with the Bloodsail Buccaneers. If you're not, then I suggest you make your way towards the Caverns of Time. Now, along the edge of Tanaris is where you will find the South Sea Pirates. Now, killing these will give you rep with Gadgetzan, Everlook, and etc. So, I recommend having something that boosts your rep. So, I'm using my Guild Battle Standard, but there is also the Top Hat. There are other items that you can find as well. And you can see here, killing each pirate results in a different amount of rep depending on what you're using. I thought I'd give you a quick bit of math, so assuming you're getting between 5 and 7 rep, so let's use 5 as it's the lowest, and you're going from neutral all the way to exalted, you're going to need to kill 8,400 pirates. So that may take a little while, especially when others are in your way. The complication comes when you realise that the reputation you get for killing these pirates is not all equal with the different places. You may have noticed that some of them only went up by three or four rather than the five to seven. Now there used to be other places you could go to kill the pirates, but due to the world changes from expansions, most of them have been removed. So to be honest, this is the biggest concentration of pirates and probably still the best place to come. Moving on to getting honoured with the Bloodsail Buccaneers. Now, keeping in mind that you have just obliterated their friends, they now hate you. They hate you 36,000. Now, in order to get them back into liking you, you have to kill everyone in Booty Bay. Now, I'm quickly showing you this on a different character because they were in the area, but keep in mind this achievement has to be done on one character, so don't swap at any point. If you go to your reputation tab, you can find your blood cell buccaneers there. If you hit that on your experience bar, you'll be able to track it. But now what we want to do is select a booty bay, and we need to tell it it's at war. This is the only way you will be able to kill them. If you don't do this, they're not attackable. So make sure you do that first. Now that they're attackable, we can go around and kill them. Now, killing them will give you a different amount of rep than the pirates did. So as you can see here, that actually gave us 25. So here's a quick calculation for you. One bruiser, 25 to 27, depending on what you're using to boost you, using the lowest 25, going all the way from hated to honored, you're going to need to kill 1,800 Booty Bay Bruisers, which isn't as bad as the Pirates, which is why I've done it this way round. Keep in mind that anyone associated with Booty Bay Gadgets and etc. will just kill you on site now, but if you're doing this at level 60, they can't really hurt you. Now, 
There are other ways to do this using like a phasing quest, but honestly, if you're level 60, you don't need to worry about that. Just go in and just start killing everything. It's so much easier. On to the mystery that is Ravenholt. So if you've been playing WoW for as long as I have, you will have met these guys before and handed in marks of the Syndicate. However, now things have changed and that is no longer a way to get rep. So you're going to need to come to Arati Highlands and specifically Stromgard Keep. Now here you will find a bunch of Syndicate that you need to kill that will give you reputation. I suggest using your battle standard or something that will help increase the amount of rep you get. Now keep in mind this is an active area in the case that people can quest here and kill them. Also they respawn really slowly. So you'll see that you're only getting between 6 and 7 from these guys. And once you hit 11,999 they will no longer give you rep as you can see here. As I got to 11,999 killing them gave me nothing further. Now I have to move areas. So in order to get any further rep, you need to hand in heavy junk boxes. So in order to do this, you're going to need that robe. Now there are two places that you can get these junk boxes from. One is Lower Blackrock Spire and the other is here. Now to get here, you need to go via Shatrath and you need to take the portal. This is your easiest place to go because once you have looted these guys, you can kill them and repeatedly loot. Whereas if you do lower Black Rock Spire, you're going to have to keep resetting the instance. So the question becomes, how many do you need? Well, first you're going to need to know where you've got to hand them in. So over in Hillsbrad Foothills, up the top of this mountain, is where you will find the Raven Holt Manor. And just in the door, around the corner, is where you'll find Winston Wolf. Now he's the person you're handing them into, and there of course is no post box or anything anywhere nearby so you're gonna have to make use of things like Kathy um, or a portable mailbox or anyone that can bring this stuff to you. In my case I've sent my stuff via my rogue. Um, you can mail these to other characters which is why I said a friend could help you do this but they are not sellable on the auction house. Now once you have the minimum of five you can hand it in and depending on your um, race and buffs, you're going to get either 80 or up to 83 in rep. Now, bearing in mind we are trying to get two exalted, that's 21,000. So, would you like some more maths? So, my calculations are as follows. Five junk boxes equals 80 to 83 rep, so we're going to use 80, because that's the lower. Revered to exalted is 21,000, so 21,000 divided by our 80 rep means a total of 262.5 hand-ins. So, I've then times that by five, because that, of course, is the number of junk boxes we need. And that gives us a total of 1,312.5 junk boxes we have to pickpocket. And at an average of about 80 to 100, and let's go with the 80, that means 16.4 hours spent pickpocketing murlocs. Keep in mind that I've worked this out on the worst of um, the reps and the worst of the number of boxes that I've got in an hour. You might find this much quicker, you might find this much slower. It is all RNG. However, there is always an end, and here it is. Be careful. Insane in the membrane, which I honestly think I am for having spent this amount of time doing this. And my reward to get a title that just says I'm insane. Fair play. You'll find the title under your character tab if you then hit titles and it is the insane. So scroll all the way down to the thes and you will find the insane, which is now currently what I am, which I think is fitting. Anyway, as always, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you found this video useful and subscribe to see what else I'm up to.